previously on life challenges. Um, unfortunately, I'm a single mother and I have a lot of personal things going on in life at the moment. And her father, is he in her life? <sighs> yes, he is. For the most part, it's just a little um, hard to co-parent cool when you've got all these feelings and y'all still fucking, you know what I mean? So really, I'm just here to work on myself, work on my life, and look back at it. What up, bro? How you doing? Going on, man. You already know it's light, aka 7:30, aka Stay Wavy Baby, from Brooklyn, New York, East New York, to be exact. I'm out here for my kid. You feel me? What brings you to the show, bro? You. Ah, see, you turned okay. up on the show last time. I'm like, nah, she needs some help. So last time I was on the show, I was with, you know, Maria. Yeah, it was before me, whatever. But I wasn't jacking. If you don't want a relationship, just give it to me. If you're not gonna give it to me, then keep it moving. That pisses me off. Don't play with my feelings. That pisses me off. Don't beat around the bush. That pisses me off. You want it? Let's go get it. Like, I mean, despite what happened in the past, dude, like, you always got an another opportunity the next day. There's more to life than what meets the eye. After me and Evie wrapped up for our interviews, we went to the store. Evie already don't like the girl because she want to be fucking a sucker dick that don't belong to her too. I don't want you. No, I don't want you. You're right. So I don't blame her for acting how she acted because I would act the same exact way. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Listen, we don't need to do that. We went to the store. Well, me and Evie were talking in the car or whatever. See, Christina pulls up on the side of her. And obviously, she, like, she glanced over and she sees the girl, like, staring up in the car. And she's like, what the fuck is she looking at? And then she ended up getting out the car. Let's go. That's why I don't want what? You? I don't want you. No, I don't want you. You're right. Who is You're that? You're right. This bitch with mad makeup on her face looking like a fucking drag queen. I was sitting in the car the whole time. Wait and just watching. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. And then it was just like, uh. Get your shit together. No, you're fat ass mother who look like a tomboy. Listen, we don't. Go. Don't let her fight. Knock it off. Separate. Separate them. Yeah, no, no shirt. And then as soon as I see that they started fighting, I hopped out the car real quick like, yeah. Here go Tony talking about, break up the fight. I'm like, I got you. Ooh. Yeah. That's all right, baby. That's, That's all right. right. Make it. Hold That's all right. Make it. Don't fucking hold. Get in the car. Left your ass naked. Hold, look at that. Look at that. Fuck you. Dirty ass bitch. Look at that. Dirty ass bitch. Beat her naked ass. Right. Bitch. Look at her. Go ahead, hold. You didn't come here. You didn't leave it like you fucking came here. No, you're not. No, you're not. I got no, I got no bra. Bitch, I don't even know bitch. Oh, I'll see her again. She's staring at me. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're naked. Mama, no. Fat ass bitches. Yeah, I just bought this with that fucking fast track. Yeah, I got the seat wipes and everything. I just got by again. I go to the top. She didn't care. She's where? She's there. She's at Fast Track? She's in the car. She's at Fast Track. All right. Now. <laughs> yeah, she's right there. Yeah, she want to come again. She want to do it again. Let's do it again. Get the fuck out the car, bitch. Get out the car. You don't want to leave the game with your clothes? Oh, you don't got no clothes now, right? Yeah, bitch. Pussy. That's what I wanted. There you go. I'm, I feel content now. Where you at? Where you, where you at? I'm with Tony. Y'all got it? Y'all riding? What's up? You all right? 
Yeah, I'm good now. She wanna give me the finger, that's all I needed. She don't want it again though. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. Alright, come on. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys. Alright. Thank you. At least. Who's gonna key your car? I don't have your car, bro. I don't have your car. I'm smart enough to leave your shit at home. Who's gonna key your car? You know what? Fuck you. You mad selfish. I'm talking about a car, I'm talking about myself. That's a selfish nigga right there. Come and sit your conversation. Trying to throw it in my face. Trying to get me out my game. I say, what's in the lead? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that. Hold up, stay right here. Okay. Oh. That night at the photo shoot was lit. I was dying laughing. Darlene was taking her photos and whatever, and she wanted me to take some for her phone. So I was like, all right, whatever. Oh my god, stay just like that, just like that. Stay that was me. Yo, this is where you know Snapchat is a blessing. The filters on that shit is hilarious. While she's here trying to look all cute, I'm just here making her look like. That's just funny. I'm crying. You know what I'm saying? I'm crying. 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 I'm Oh my god, I love it. I love being in front of the camera. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Now you must add your arm. Your beard. And laugh, alright? Ready? What's gonna be like? What's gonna be like? That shit gotta come natural. This looks funny if you don't. <laughs> you gotta make me laugh. You gotta catch me when I'm laughing. It wasn't no, like, sexual encounter. Where we did mess around still. <laughs> Show me his white walls. <laughs> High flash <though. laughs> yeah, oh. What was your reaction? Uh, you mean coming from like a gay person, like the first thing I did was scream. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're white walls! <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys do anything? No. How's, um, how's your current relationship treating you? So the girl that I was talking to, Jasmine, I. You know, I invited her to be a part of the show, you know, get her take of things. She don't like all those questions and being in front of the camera. She definitely wasn't with it. We good. We all right. We're in good spirits, like when we're around each other. Me and Jess just sat down, and he just kept asking a lot of questions about Jasmine that I was just like a little, I don't weirded out from because it's like my nigga, like, why are you all up in my personal business? Like, we're cool, but shit is just getting started. Like, can't really like express that much, but. Whatever, you know, I gave him the answers that he wanted and... How do you feel about your girl being on the show? She's not with it. She's not all about the cameras. She's corny, but she's not, she's not that one. And I never tell a chick about the pipe I get Cause if she ever disrespect, I have to fight that bitch Why is this shit still coming to me? Why? I don't understand why is this shit still coming to me? Cause I know for a fact that we got there first Tells me I was talking to you, staring at her you were the same direction she was, but why was she staring over here? So after this whole fight with Evie, we just like sat down, talked about it, whatever, we chopped it up, but I mean, that shit over there. So so. You were wrong. I you felt like, rowdy, I felt. She felt rowdy, she felt good. Felt like she felt like she needed to prove something for some odd reason. Yes! I don't know, but. That's like, what was your, why, that's what I'm saying. What was your deal? This whole day, what was your deal? I would love to know. She really wasn't with the shits. They said, you know what? She's like, um, we'll fight tomorrow. Oh, we plan fights now. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do appointments. Tomorrow that. I'll be ready. When you have a whole shirt on and everything, when you're not gonna wear fucking Crayola clothes on. That was shit was funny as fuck, but. It's just crazy how y'all both basically had like the same thing on and she left naked and you left with nothing. I got, I fell to the ground. As soon as I see y'all grab each other, I hopped up the car real quick, like, 
Hold <laughs> that thought. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, we didn't know. You be like, you remember, like, somebody break it up. I said, I fought you. <laughs> I ran like. <laughs> Yo, you threw her. And you, you threw yourself. <laughs> like, I just, like, fell over you. I was like, oh. That's what happened. Yeah. And I ran up to her, pushed her off. <laughs> she ran that way, grabbing everything she had. Banging. She did it with her titties, swinging back and forth. She was like, like ah. I told her up, grab the pieces of the shirt on the floor. Because I just cut her up. She's like, I don't have a bra. <laughs> Yo, she was there like this or anything. So I know. Like, eh. yeah. <laughs> don't post that because I got exposed. <laughs> Damn right. They trying to get you naked, naked, naked. Yeah, they want to see, yo. She was looking like she was breastfeeding for her whole life. <laughs> That's the tea right there. Oh, why'd you fight Edie for? Oh my God. Yo, man, I don't mind the business, but that's their fucking problem. They don't have no life, so they want to be in your life. What the fuck are you doing? You look ridiculous. You look like ridiculousness. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. She got mad when I called her a drag queen. She was like, <gasps> Not me! Bitch, with mad makeup on her face, looking like a fucking drag queen. <coughs> the bitch, you, and your aunt, yeah, with her dot fire yeah, ass. Good. I don't know what she was doing there. Her sacky ass. Her titties, left to right. Yeah. Her titties hanging all the way there, like, we not mad. Oh, you should be, because y'all both look crazy. <laughs> the bitch got tore up by Edward Scissorhand, that bitch. <laughs> Cause if anything, she owes me an apology. I'm glad I came out tonight. King of the streets, and when these suckers see me, they should bow to my feet and kiss the ground underneath. So tonight I'm meeting up with Light to talk about the show and everything else that's going on. Hey, so with that little shit? No, me too. I first. want it. It's really not gonna bite me, right? No, it's not gonna bite you. <laughs> hey there. All right, give him back. Give him, give him up. You don't know what you're doing. This is half of you bitches in Amsterdam. Bunch of fucking <laughs> slithering snakes. <laughs> not phonies out here. That's a challenge in itself. You gotta watch who you around, you feel me? There's a lot of people that, that are your best friend in your face, but then behind your back, they bad mouthing you. Oh, Dad, what you been up to? Long time no see. I gotta ask you something. I, I heard something. I heard niggas turned up. I missed it, but what happened? Fucking, um, mm -hmm. he was about to drop me off at home or whatever, and then we stopped at Fast Track. And, um, some shorty, Christina, pulls up. What's her name? Christina, fucking, I don't know her last name. I forgot her last name. Oh, yeah, let me show you quick. Ah, uh, yeah, show me what she looked like. She started staring like into the car, whatever the case may be. And um, Evie and her obviously has some like old beef from like a while ago. She's like, what? And Christina's like, what? So Evie gets out the car, or whatever, just to go into the store to see what they're doing. And Christina was like, so let's get it. And then Evie was like, all right, so let's go. And they just start started fighting. And I hopped out the car. I was like, ooh, oh, okay. And then who, who won that? Um, I don't. And don't just say Evie because that's your friend. Who won? To be honest, I don't feel like anybody <clears throat> won. I feel like it was like one of those fights that there like needs to be around too. Okay, I heard there was titties out though. Like Christina's shirt got ripped off. <gasps> that means Evie won. That's it. She stripped her. That's her. Oh, Dito, she's cute. Why Evie did that to her? That's fucked up. Okay. I wish I was there in the front. You could see her tits. Like, how you feel about my big mom being on this show? I feel like he should always compromise and co-parent with her. They should, they should always have like a, like a good bond just for the sake of the baby. <laughs> I go through life challenges every day. My son, which is a blessing. I love him to death. I, I don't never regret nothing about him. Even though, yes, sometimes I do regret his mother. You don't think that was done on purpose? Honestly, because I ain't gonna find out if it was done on purpose. <clears throat> Definitely. Come on, we all know Keisha Maldonado's my baby mother. And yes, yes, y'all ain't gotta tell me nothing. I already know. Like, what am I gonna do? If I take her away, I take my son away. And I would never wanna take my son away. So I gotta live, live with that for the rest of my life. But I don't have to tolerate her. All I gotta do is take care of my kid. Since we're talking about this subject, you don't think that you would ever, like, just have a sit down with your baby mom and talk to her? For what? Like, being on this show, I feel like that's definitely a life challenge for them, and I feel like they should have a sit down. And, I don't know to try and work on things. Work on what? <laughs> like just for the baby, you know what I'm saying? Like the mm. like just have. Listen, a, a my baby mother. <laughs> you don't want to know what I think about her. You want to know? You sure? Oh man, you sure you want to know? 
I think she's a horrible person. I think when it comes to her friends or whatever, yeah, she's the best. Until she wants to do what she do. I would never want to go nowhere with her. So if you see me anywhere with her on this show, just know I'm not happy at all. I'm going to tell you the same way I feel. I don't care. I tell it to anybody. I tell it to her face. But she's a lost cause in my eyes. You don't think you guys will ever, like, just, like, move past all of that and just be, like... I can't be around that girl. I can't communicate with her. Like, I found out that she's on the show as well. And um, I'm not gonna hold you, I'm not jacking it. Not jacking it, not jacking it. I don't like it. If you see us bump heads, y'all gonna have a real fun time because you're gonna be laughing your ass off. I don't care. I don't lose all respect for that woman. I don't even wanna call her a woman. I don't lose all respect for that little girl. If it don't work out, it don't work out. But at the end of the day, it is all about the baby. You know what I mean? And you can't do nothing but learn from the situation. Even if I was to sit down with this girl, like, what would that accomplish? That's my question. She, to accomplish nah, it. like I know her. When I'm around her, she, like she does that lovey dovey shit. Honestly, and I can't. Cause she's. Oh she's man, still I don't want to be rude. It's just cause she she's disgusts so lovely. me. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna just say it. I'll sit here and I'll laugh in her face, like. <laughs> If that's what y'all want, if y'all want me to do shit like that, then fuck it, I'll sit down with her. But if y'all don't want that shit to happen, then... Like, I've been around her. She definitely cares. It's just... No, she doesn't. She cares, but she cares more about the other things, the party. I mean, you a good dad, too. Shit, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? It is definitely... Thank you. It's good to hear that. I think, I think Light is a fucking wonderful dad. He does what he has to do for his son. I definitely like the way that Light disciplines his child. However, Keisha, I don't, so... Yeah, niggas definitely need credit too. I'm about to just like hit you with the flip flop. So, what's so up? You trying to have a sit down with your baby father? I think I could. That's pot. See, you better, you're a better person than me. I don't want to feel like that for the rest of my life. I want us to communicate. I didn't go for her face. Like, it was like, what was I doing? When we see each other, it's always good vibes. It was like, it's basically one of those fights that needs around two weeks. I've known Desiree for a very long time since we were kids. I think she's very beautiful and she's a great mother. You know, there, there was a little, you know, there was a few moments that, you know, I felt like she, you know, done something with my baby father. Or, you know, there was moments that she thought I did something with her baby father. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh! And I still fuck you up, or you didn't though. I'll get off the high horse for a sec. Right. You think you got a child? I have an eight-year-old. So now you're disrespecting me as a woman. What? What did I disrespect you? Like, listen to me. No, I need to really spit some facts to you. You about to be like, wow, because this is a fact. Wow. Listen, we're, we're women. We gotta stick together. It ain't nothing better than that. You know what I mean? We're power, and we gotta keep that going in our minds. We can't let no one break us. You know what I'm saying? The way she is wrong in a situation is the fact of the matter is. She was in your face. If I fuck with a nigga that got a girl, I never met her a day in my life. I never chill with her. We was never in each other's faces. To me, to her, that's not disrespect. What do you want to disrespect me for? To get some dick? When you have nothing. You to thought she was gonna get taken care when of? You have no clarity. For oh, someone. bitch. In the car. Left your ass oh, naked. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I scratched the I fuck. When I went to her first, it was like this. Fuck this. We went. And I went. And grabbed each other. I did this. Right. And then, tra, I grabbed her face. I, yeah. I don't do that shit. I see that. Be a grown lady. Be a woman. Right. Came there a little ass girl and you left there a baby, butt ass naked, with a diaper on. Don't come for me like you, you popping. Not popping. You're wearing the same shit you was wearing earlier at the park when you walked there with your boo. Next time on Life Challenges. I've been with this nigga for like a week and a half now, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like helping him out because like I see it as like if he ain't right, my daughter's not good. Me and Carlos were talking and he pretty much was just giving me advice on some things that I was going through at the moment. But he seems cool. What child wants to grow up and see that one of their parents is doing this, that, and the third of me while the other one's good? Today when he was upstairs, I went downstairs and his, his phone was on the charger and I seen him put his password in. So I put it in, and, and this is exactly why I'm in my feelings. I mean, and I left the bitch naked, and then that was it. Oh, you stripping bitch? She had no. Yeah, oh, man. Like, she just, like, that's my homie. She just like me, like, go time, whenever. And she said something about your mother, like, so corny. You heard what happened in my window? I called her, I'm like, yo, don't come back to my house. Stay away from my crib. Like, me and you is done. We've been broken up for a couple days, maybe almost a week now. Like, let's just, just mad, G mad, fall back. So the other 
other night I was staying at Jasmine's crib and something kind of struck me when I looked at her phone. It was Cheche, AKA Manny, who popped up on her phone. So I hit up this punk ass nigga to see what's good. Me? Would you like to explain to me why? Why your name out of everybody else's name is popping up on her phone? We had a one night stand and then kept the move. How all of a sudden you don't know I'm talking to? Her? You know exactly who the fuck she is. Don't sit here and act stupid, my nigga. Just a piece of ass. Bro. I knew you from way back then. How you gonna go ahead and overstep some boundaries like that? Punk ass bitch!